And how do you say that, Catherine? Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya. I'm outcast. It's lovely to be here. Um, so we have it's uh, David Tennant and uh, Catherine Tate. I'm, I'm Catherine Tate. Yes, I should oh, have let you do that. That's I? all right. Yeah, we were much better drilled the last time, but then we were more prepared. <laughs> we we had a month's notice. Yeah, with the emergency <laughs> stand-ins for Jonathan Ross. <laughs> Who's uh, reclining in a bed of snot Aww. this morning? Apparently, Wait, I He's think not we need well. to stop talking about bodily functions, be it We've human or about cat. human or feline. I was going yeah. to say. Yeah, well, we managed yeah. to talk about it enough during that last record as well. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I feel people may have had a belly full. Yes, Indeed. I, I, let's hope they haven't. No. <laughs> but we have we have Jonathan Ross level guests. We oh, the real very posh guests so. are here today. Yes, they, whether they know they've no, they've got the beat. Whether they'll or not. still arrive. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there is that. I've seen one of them outside already. So unless oh, he brilliant. bolts, uh, unless he bolts uh, before he comes on air, I think he's. I think Ricky Gervais is in the building. My goodness me. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's about the most famous man in the world. I think so. Just about. Yeah, I think so. So he's here. That's brilliant. We hope. We hope. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, and, uh, and then we have Anthony Head. Anthony Head, Head yeah. who I saw last week in the show, I guess he's coming on to talk about. Six Degrees of Separation? Six Degrees of Separation, Oh, that's yeah. good. You've done your research. Well, yeah, I didn't realise, though, that no, I was going to be seeing him. No. Have you seen Ricky's film, The Invention of Lying, that we're supposed to be talking about? I have. Well, I have too. Well, we're, we're very doing quite well, well. We're very well equipped, then. That's good. I, I, did you like it? Yeah. You can see before it comes Didn't out. Didn't you? No, I did. I thought it was yeah, great. Yeah, I saw it. yeah. I saw it in America as well. So did I. But let's not sound, sound too sure, but you won't alienate our audience, okay. Catherine. But, but yeah. the, the point of that being is going to watch a, a, a movie, as yeah. they say in America. Sure. I say a film. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, actually, I say I'm going up the pictures. <laughs> I'm going to watch a film in America. Bit of a different experience, don't you think? In what way? In the way that, uh, whereas we have popcorn, they bring in a three-course meal. That's true. On their laps. Yes. Yeah. With tin foil. <laughs> and, and eat it with cutlery. Not every American does Not that. every American, but it is available in the foyer of most of That's the... That's true. And every American will bring in popcorn, in, I mean, in a sort of kayak of popcorn. Yes, it's, it's a different... Um, it's a different uh, yeah, world size, of container. isn't it? It's yes. not. It's not small, medium and large. It's... Well, we start at large. Y yeah. We we finish with, can a crane get me out of my seat <laughs> size? Yeah. Although popcorn's very slimming, you see. So is that's, it? I think popcorn's quite a slimming dish. No, it it doesn't help if you pour the pop hot butter all butter. over it. And why would you? Why would you do that? And are you a salt or a sweet popcorn? I'm a sweet. Oh, oh stop it. Salt. You don't want a big salty mouthful. You don't want a big sugary mouthful. Oh, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Back to the cat poo. <laughs> but what you can do, take the edge off both sides. Have a mixed. You can have a mixed, but it's not every... Not everyone's it's not cup everyone. of tea. Oh, I just choked my coffee oh, there careful. at the thought of that. Oh. You've been very blasé talking and drinking at the same time. I know. Oh. Well, it's all this last minute standing. I feel like anything's... <laughs> you think, what's the have, worst that can happen? Yeah, have you ever been an understudy before? Yeah. I have. Well, that's the end of that story. <laughs> OK. Uh... <laughs> I got to go on. No, who was that for? It was for it was it was at the National Theatre where oh, you yes, where course. you don't actually play just one understudy. You play about seventeen yes, understudies. Yes. Um, and it was for Marianne Jean Baptiste. Oh posh. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, how many shows did she miss? She missed half a show. Oh, they didn't take you off at the interval <laughs> of her on, did they? They did. Oh, you were Wasn't that, that unconvincing, or? Well, it's not that I was unconvincing. It's it's not that. No, it isn't that actually. <laughs> <laughs> don't get defensive. Well, don't don't accuse me Sorry. of being rubbish. Okay. Well, how did they tell you that you weren't going to complete this evening's performance? They took well. It was all a bit eggy actually, mm. because they'd said to me at the beginning because Marianne was actually in the building when they told me to go on. Oh, but because she'd not got there for the half, which is thirty minutes before the show started. Yes, and I said, but she's she's actually there. And the stage manager said, "This is the National Theatre. We don't, we don't do that. You know, we have protocol, and Ooh. this, this is it." And I said, "Right, you're, you're not going to pull me off halfway through, are you? You know?" And he said, "No, this is the National Theatre. We don't start the show with one actress and finish with another." And I thought, "Well, that's quite good because it might be confusing for the audience because yeah, she's a black actress well, and yeah. I'm a white actress. Yeah, and we were playing the same part yeah. in this particular thing, and uh, and then halfway through." They did. Was it the same stage manager who told yes, you that? Yes, and I 
just said, I'm sorry, I thought this was the National Theatre that we don't do that. And he went, yes, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very sorry. Oh, well, at least he, had, at least he didn't try and rewrite history. And then I went back on as the part I was originally playing. So it was a terribly... Um, Terribly uh, confusing. Wait, was there an, an announcement made? Announcement was made at the top of the show to, to say the part um, of I can't remember what it was. Now I had so many would be played by Catherine Tate. That no, it no was where the world wasn't it? Where the world? Flibbity gibbet or something like that. Flibbity gibbet, yes. Mincing or yeah. someone or <laughs> yeah. go lightly or someone. <laughs> And that awful thing that happens to the understudy that no one's heard of, as soon as the announcement's made, the entire auditorium went, Ugh. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> How are relations between you and Marianne now? Oh, no, there was nothing. Sure, sure. Oh, no, no, it wasn't. No, no, I'm not saying... Yeah, no, I'm yes, not, you are. I'm not saying anything. It wasn't anything to do with Marianne. Okay. No, 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 no. So what? She no, was it, it there, wasn't but they wouldn't no, let do her... Do you know what? I think I've said that wrong. She was actually about five minutes away. Right, And right. I said, when she gets here, you're not going to put her on, are you? Right. And, uh, anyway, they well, did. Well, when Jonathan Ross arrives in half an hour and we get picked <laughs> out, you'll know that it's happening It won't happened be the again. first time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that, so that's our guest. Oh, and LaRue. Mm. LaRue. I, I love, love, I actually, I love LaRue. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and have heard of it. That's good. Yes. This time, baby, I'll be... Bullet, you're looking blank. Oh, That's... okay, because I thought you were going to do the other one about... Mm, going in for, for the, the kids. kids. Yeah. I love that one. Which is nominated for something? It's Booker Prize, probably. The Booker <laughs> Prize. She's up for the Booker Prize. <laughs> First uh, pop artist in history to have her to, to be nominated song nominated for the Booker, the Booker Prize. the Booker Prize and the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> so she's doing very well. She's doing very well. And, of course, her, her mum... Mom? I know. Oh, it's so exciting. Maru's mum is actually... A PC? P WPC. WP Sergeant. Sergeant. She's a sergeant. June Ackland off, off of the bell. The bell. Yeah. Isn't that brilliant? Truly good one. I bet she doesn't like talking about that in interviews. No, well, reckon? we won't Shall say we not bring it up? Shall we just talk about it a lot up. now? Yeah, to do it now. Get out of our system. Don't say it, don't say Did it you? Her. it you've appeared in the bell once or twice. Once or twice? Did you ever have a scene with uh, WPC Sergeant I, I was, Corporal June Ackland? I was certainly um, in an episode. It was in an episode where um, she'd been made sergeant, as I remember. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And but I, I can't actually... Because the thing is, when I came out of drama school, as long as you'd been out of the bill for eight months, you could go back into it yeah. as another character. So I thought it was a job for life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sure that still holds true. Do you think? Oh, it's all got a bit zhuzhy now. Have you seen the bill? It's all a bit... So all a bit I haven't. Do you know? I saw a little time. clip, and it did look quite impressive. Yeah. There were big explosions and yeah. things. It looked yeah. quite. I, th I believe the word is gritty. I believe it's gritty, but at the same time, it doesn't shy away from a bit of gloss. Oh really? I don't think so. I think it looks like it, the film's been treated. The uh, whatever it is they film. And are, all, are they got all, all the? They've kept all the good-looking actors. And... Uh, yes, they're look. They're all good-looking. Of course they are. Of course they are, and all very good. But I'm, I'm just saying that the tone of it has changed, the visual tone of it, I feel, has changed yeah. a bit. Well, I'm, re everything. I'm ready for another guest appearance. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes. I'm waiting for the phone to ring. I'd like to be a baddie this time, if, if anyone's listening. I was a baddie before. Oh, well, oh well, yes, you, know you were. Yeah, I was, no, I was, I was a serial baddie. killer. You were never a baddie? What? No, you I were just a girl on estate. Various people. On estate, thank yeah. you. Yes, on the Jasmine Allen estate. <laughs> <laughs> Did you did your characters have names or were they just girl on estate? No, thank you, David. Okay. They all had names. Um, I can't remember what they were now. <laughs> mincing flibbity gibbet. Mincing glow lightly flibbity gibbet. <laughs> um, yeah, but it was all oh yeah, it was all very sad and well the parts I played it was all oh, my boyfriend's been beaten up. Sad it? from a career point of view or no, sad just moving, my, moving. No, just my, moving. Yeah. Yes, moving. In fact, once it was my first bit of prosthetic. I wasn't really prosthetic. They had to. Um, I'd been beaten up. Mm. By someone on the estate, on the on that damn Jasmine oh, Allen estate, full of who? Full of hooligans. Full of hooligans. Um, and and I'd been beaten up and oh oh that's sorry. the microphone. That's the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting excited. Yeah. Oh well, I'm getting um well, I'm remembering. Uh, yeah, they had to put put a put a black eye on me. Right. Not put one on. Draw one in. Yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe we can ask. No, she no. won't. She's not going to remember I, an episode Ooh. of a show her mum did. I think, what I'm talking about. Why did I even go there? Oh, dear. Oh, I think on the off chance we should. Yeah. Now, here's a link, though. LaRue, I'm pretty certain, was on the BBC's Sound of 2009 list. Mm. Uh, now, the winner of the BBC's Sound of 2010 list... Tell me. It's only Ellie Goulding. Is it starry-eyed? Yeah, this is the track. And I am. <laughs> 